how are ya? <laughs> Very much giving you winter. Hi, hi, Aussies. Welcome. Is there someone in that car? Um, welcome back to my channel. Today is June 2nd, and it is the start of a very brutal month on Reserve A. Now, I would never have bid for Reserve A in my entire life. I've never had this schedule, never would have bid for it, never would have chose it, never would have nothing, unless I wanted to buddy bid with Matt, which I did, but we thought we would be senior enough to hold a B or C line. So, reserve line, <laughs> we don't have a line. Because I buddy bid with him, I went down to his level of seniority that's what happens when two people buddy bid, the more senior person goes down to the junior person's level, which makes sense because just because you buddy bid wouldn't bump the other person up to yours, so that's how it has to work. And I basically went down 50 people in seniority. So on reserve, that's kind of a lot of people. And we got stuck on A. <laughs> so reserve A is midnight to 10 a.m. That's the times that they can call you. That's the times that you have to be available to wake up and get ready and go to the airport for anything. And this is like gonna be crazy for us because we normally go to bed at two or three in the morning. On this schedule, you cannot do that. Like if you get called at 2 a.m. for a 4 a.m. showtime, for a four-day trip you would have literally zero hours of sleep it's like not even safe so you basically have to go to bed at like six seven or eight or nine at the very latest in preparation to be called for something there are a few benefits to having this schedule one you get used more because a lot of the earlier departures get sick call-ins and stuff like that um, so you do get more hours on this line usually they're always out of reserve A's because they have to use them so much the second thing, there's no traffic going to the airport at 3, 4 in the morning. It doesn't start to get busy till like 7, 8, 9. And there's traffic all the time now in Chicago after COVID is kind of sending people back to the office and stuff. There's so much traffic. It is so annoying. I miss like the days of just driving everywhere with no traffic. Um, some other benefits. It's not 85 degrees when we're going to work. So it's not hot and it's not cold. It's just like that perfect like middle of the night summer weather I, I don't even know i wanted to do a video kind of talking about our experience on a us buddy bidding we already picked up two trips together which is like crazy because he's like brand new and it's pretty rare that you can pick up two trips and work together that means there had to have been two spots open on the trip and he was senior enough to pick it up, meaning pretty much no one else wanted it because he's super new and he was able to get it, meaning nobody above him wanted that trip. And that happened for two trips. They both have red eyes on them, go figure. So that's pretty much the only reason we were able to get them. But still, it'll be a good time and yeah. Um, I'm at the airport. It is 3.30 in the morning. I am sitting ready today from 3, or no, 4.15 a.m. to 9.15 a.m. And I brought my blanket and my little neck pillow and I'm hopefully just gonna go to sleep in the sleeping room. And then when I wake up, I have a doctor's appointment at 11. So this actually worked out good being on call today because I really could not miss this doctor's appointment. I was like so scared I was gonna get a trip and have to cancel it. Okay, well it's 3.51 right now and I, I have like 20 minutes to get to the crew room, so. Hi, Aussies. Hey, Aussies. Um, I just got off my ready sit, changed in the car. Hopefully no one saw me because that was weird. Um, it was actually pretty horrible, not going to lie. I sat from 4.15 to 9.15. I couldn't get comfortable anywhere. I went to the old crew room. We have two crew rooms um, at my airport. The old one has like a zen room with like recliners. There was somebody in there. So when I opened the door, I would try to be so quiet. But I couldn't even like see the other chairs to like sit down. It was like so weird. I was like... Okay, how could I even like get up or what if I have to keep my phone on loud on, in case crew scheduling calls me So like what if I wake them up? I just didn't feel comfortable there with that person there So then I went to the new crew room, which is outside of security I try to get comfortable that room like I don't know what is wrong with this airport It makes me so angry like oh my gosh the new crew room it's 65 degrees in there. I'm not even exaggerating. The thermometer literally says that it's 65. It's set to 75, but that room will not go over 65. 
so you're like shivering like literally miserable wanting to cry in there and I tried to lay down I had a blanket and everything and I kept waking up just like feeling like I, it, I was sleeping in snow like it was so miserable it was really bad and I don't know going forward after today what I should do like get a heated blanket just bring more stuff or what to try to sleep and then the chairs were horrible in the new crew room to sleep on they don't have like they don't recline back all the way they're like this so you're either like sitting up sleeping i put two together like this and i was literally laying across them with the footrest in between like i looked insane but that was the only way i could sleep like on my stomach so now i got released for the day it's gonna be like 82 today so ah! i'm just so happy to be like off <laughs> I'm alive, but I'm dead. Can I help you? Hi. Can I get the sausage, egg, and cheese with no bun, please? Okay, what kind of sandwich you want? Sausage, egg, and cheese with no bun, please. Okay. Uh, you want the sausage, egg, and cheese, no, no bun? Yeah, sausage, egg, and cheese with no bun. Okay. If I could just get only like... Medium, sugar-free vanilla coffee? Yeah, just like one or two pumps, not a lot, please. And no regular sugar, just the sugar-free syrup, please. She kept cutting me off, and I was just like... I actually don't feel alive right now. Like I, I don't. I feel like whatever I slept in the crew room didn't work. You know what I mean? Like I feel like I just woke up at 3 a.m. So, oh, they had a Dunkin' over there. Why am I over here? I just feel like such a mess. Like I'm greasy. It's not cute. A little sauce, medium ice, sugar-free vanilla. It doesn't taste like sugar-free vanilla. It tastes like regular vanilla. And I will literally be thrown out of ketosis in three seconds if I drink a regular coffee. I can't tell and it's really annoying and that's why I literally hate getting coffee from like anywhere but Starbucks because they don't care. They'll just give you anything. Let's see my breakfast. Oh. Focus. Okay, I'm gonna eat and then go to the doctor's office. Hi, Elsie's. Hey, Elsie's. We're going. <laughs> We're going on our first trip together, and um, hiding our uniforms. Oh. Um, we're going to LAX tonight and then Atlanta and we're gonna go to the beach tomorrow and have a lot of fun. <laughs> I'm so tired and... I've been up since, like, we've been working since like 4.30 and it's like 2 o'clock in the morning Los Angeles time, so it's like 4 Chicago. So we've been working for like 12 hours straight. And, um. It's not that bad. We got our first hotel room together and, um, it's pretty nice. Bye. Oh, and look, my nail polish came off, and it looks so bad. It looks like a French tip, but it's literally the polish came off the tip. Isn't that weird? Good. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, tomorrow we're gonna go to the beach, and um. Maybe get some food. I don't know. We meal prepped a lot, so we don't need to get any food. But, yeah, just the beach is the plan right now. And 
sleep for our red eye flight to Atlanta. Can't wait. I was just annoyed by the bin with the beer in it that made my uniform dirty. The strings weren't too bad, actually. Person that threw up all over the floor. Other than that, yeah, they weren't too bad. I think I saw some throw up in the bathroom. Yeah, ew. Like behind the toilet. That's kind of gross. She was washing it out of her hair in the lab sink, and there was like chunks she in the sink. She literally had a toilet paper holding part of her hair. Ew. And there was like chunks of throw up like on her legs still. Ew. And like we're cleaning up chunks of someone else's vomit. People even know what we go through, like, like, yum, can't wait to eat my salad. Good morning! Get in. <laughs> it's okay. We are rest and recharged, vax and wax, and ready to go to the beach! It's so sunny today, and, okay, this is a problem, but in Los Angeles, it says it's 88 degrees, but by Manhattan Beach, it says it's 70 degrees. And I would like to know the sorcery because I prefer the 88, but we're getting the 70. So I think that's kind of messed up how 20 minutes away, it's 15 more degrees. 70 degrees. Not hot enough for the beach. Good weather. Not hot enough for the beach, but. Good enough. And not good enough. But um, we're just, you know, brunching and mimosing over here and we're gonna go to the beach and then yeah we're, we're gonna vlog over there i love how the last clip is probably us like d dead we're just like this passenger's vomited all over us and we're exhausted and now we're just like back to normal yeah that was a <laughs> we slept from like 3 a.m to like literally noon <laughs> Which was so necessary, like, I feel so much better now. Pizza? <laughs> we made it, guys! So there's just a drunk guy on the beach who drove his Jeep. Almost hit a kid. Almost hit a bunch of people. And now the lifeguard, and he just ran into the water, the driver. And we caught the police and look at the lifeguard is on its way. <laughs> oh, Baywatch, there <laughs> Baywatch said no game. He's going. What's wrong with people? Here's the Jeep that almost killed some kids. I want to take a pic of it on the left side. Expose them. <laughs> Wait, he has a firefighter stand. <laughs> what does that mean? He's a firefighter? <laughs> they can't stop me from taking a pic. No, we'll take a pic. <laughs> it's on ready now. <laughs> Did you get some? Twenty <laughs> F Manny. I bet his name is Manny. Oh. The cop was like, go off then. Is that what they said? No. You can only post. Beach on the beach. We are at. What is it called, babe? Shellback. Shellback Tavern. They got them decent prices, you know what I mean? Not no $35 for some fries. I just got 12 cents invested. We got our food, carne asada salad, nachos, and they've got some Takis. Mahi Mahi, I hate the name Mahi Mahi because you have to say it twice for no reason. Mahi Tacos. Mahi Tacos, just make it that. Why not? They look kind of good. Cactus. Cactus. So anyone could just run into that thing and just... Our future house there. Oh, yeah. Oh, look. There's that golf cart that we saw. That we oh, yeah. Six people can fit on it. The whole car. <laughs> this big sucker is... $50. This is $375. So you could just get like four of these. Basically. You get four of those to make a giant one. 18 carbs for 1 94th of the pop. 
There's 94 servings in that thing. Ready? They got the little... Where is he? Stacy. <laughs> You're horrible. Due to COVID, we will not be offering samples. Mine's kids, I don't know what yours is. Turkey. I'm vlogging you, vlogging me. Vlog something. First layover on a trip that we're both working. Is that what? I don't know. I think Put him back. I think it might be alive. Is he dead? You gotta poke it. Don't hit it. Yeah. He's just dead. Aww, he's, oh, dead. he's dead. Yeah, he's dead. He's a goner. Aww. Poor little brother. Some shoes she Are you ready? Oh, surfer, 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 surfer. Surfer, 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 surfer. Whee! Going? Oh, surfer. This is what California has that nobody else has. Um, I kind of forgot to vlog half of our trip. Um, it wasn't very exciting because we flew a red eye into Atlanta. We got to Atlanta at like 7 a.m. and then we went to sleep all day and then just flew one leg home. So I didn't vlog a lot. I kind of forgot and I was exhausted. So today is the next day. Um, we got home last night at like 9. Um, but no, today is our day off. Tomorrow we're back on reserve. Actually, tonight at midnight we're back on reserve. But we're at the Morton Arboreum. I don't know how to say it. It's this giant park. And Daniel Popper has the biggest installation he's ever made in the world here. So we are here for that and to see other stuff. The wildlife and the nature and the sunshine. And it's a beautiful day. So, yeah. 